Hey, what's up? It's Glendon here, and we're going to do something very different this year at HustlersKungFu.com. You have a lot of people showing checks, screenshots of bank accounts, all kinds of stuff. But you never really see anyone actually showing you how to build a business from the ground up. Well, we're going to change that. One of the first things you got to do is get your mind right. Head to the office super early. We just got this new spot, and here's what's going to happen. Shredded it, just got the keys. Warning, listening to the Hustlers Kung Fu, the business school for hustlers may change your life, which may include making more money, dealing with your shit, stop being a scared little bitch, losing friends, breaking up with your wife, getting hot new young chicks, understanding how money works, learning to sell, learning how to start a business, moving out of your parents' house, becoming a boss, making new friends, moving up in life, and much, much more. Listen to this channel at your own risk. Went to the Home Depot, and you know, if you're a veteran, you should shop at Home Depot. They didn't pay me to say that. That is just, they like veterans. So I got the paint, and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff about how the office started out. Because right now, that's the color, well, that was the color on the wall. I didn't like it, it was a little gloomy, and it didn't really set the theme of Mac Daddy Media. That's the company that's renting this space, and we're gonna have the largest spot, and then I'm gonna hire two people for a client, which is going to occupy the first office. Uh, just a few things that are going to go down with that. I had a vision, right? The vision. And I like color. Mac Daddy Media is a video marketing consulting company, so we need some color in there and we need to show the things because I'm going to go with all Macs. I got three iMac. Well, there's three Macs in the offices right now. And in this space, well, we'll go back here because now in this part, We've got the painter. No, no, he's no. doing his thing. I'm doing the before and, and you know, he was just like, oh, no, no, I was just letting him know I was doing the before and after. What's going to happen in this spot? It's going to be three desks yes. against that wall. And I already know the painting I'm going to put there. So that's going to, you'll, you'll see, that's going to be looking really hot and sweet in a minute. There we go. Now, this part is going to be a whiteboard wall. The whole wall is going to be a whiteboard plus the doors. Now, I'm gonna hang some some sweet paintings on there, and that's where the desk are gonna go. And as you can see, I'm gonna put the whiteboard stuff on that door and this wall so we can put down goals and stuff. Now, check this out. It looks 100% better than that gloomy color that was on the wall. I'm showing you all this stuff because these are the steps that every business owner who is growing his business, right. at some point, you. you gotta come out your house. Well, for many business people, they never even start in their house. They start with a warehouse, they'll start with an office. And essentially, the way that I negotiated this lease, I have roughly, I don't have to pay my first rent check outside the deposit and stuff until June 1st. So, got the whole end of this month to get it all set up, get the furnishing in there, get the people in there, and to start making things happen. That's how you build a business. Just got this new spot, right? And I'm gonna show you the whole process of how to set up an office, unlike some other people out there. Yes, it's a real office. As uh, one of my friends was saying, oh, you legit now. It was kind of crazy. I was a little hurt by that, but that's the perception when you run a business out of your house for eight years. Well, so that's it, short and sweet. We're gonna be doing more videos like this. We'll be on, be on location. I'll still have my home office. Make no mistake about that. But things are just going so well that we need to expand. We have to have more people. And in little videos like this, I'm gonna document the process because here's the thing. Recently, I had Numb Nuts come to the channel and sprinkle all his little troll piss all over the place. And it hit me. One of the reasons Numb Nuts and other people are so bamboozled and unsure of what you really need to do to start a business is no one really shows the process from the beginning. They'll tell you this or that. You know, in my storage auction days, which I left before I started this channel, I was like, hey, this is what I used to do. And I told people that. Now, this is something I'm doing. Mac Daddy Media, the consulting firm, plus an e-commerce site is coming real soon. And I'll talk about that stuff on this channel. For the more seasoned business folks who've already been through that, don't really need the warm-up tips, 
Yeah, that'll be a B school for hustlers. All of the, my channels and content are below the video. So many things are coming. But if you want to see real documentation of a real business, watch Hustlers Kung Fu. That's what you'll get. So be sure to subscribe. And if you got any questions that are business related, and let's, let's be real clear about that. Business related isn't like, how long did it take you to make six figures? That question is immaterial because you ain't me. I want you to think about that. When I started this channel and my first year I made 62 grand and my second year I made 90,000, then I blew up in the third year, a decade plus of business experience before I did that. If you are John from Portland, and you're doing this for the first time, you have no connections, no experience, no sales experience, that question's immaterial. Unless we are equal in experience, doesn't really matter. Business questions are, hey, should I run a spot? Hey, I'm making X amount of sales per day. You know, those are business questions, not wannabe questions. And I'm gonna be saying shit to people who are asking wannabe questions. So I may put just wannabe. Uh, I'm getting real snarky. I'm gonna talk a lot of shit on the channel now. You, what you saw with Numb Nuts, that's just a warm up because we're taking it back 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012 style, where I will mix it up and I will call a fool, a fool or Numb Nuts, and we'll have more fun and you'll get better education because here's the thing, regardless of what I say, in my opening, someone had a problem with me saying, leave your wife for hot young chicks. If I, a dude on YouTube could say something and fuck up your marriage, your shit was janky to begin with. That's all I'm gonna say on that. But we're gonna have more fun. And it's gonna be really that rough, rugged commentary that got me here, so we're going back. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Be sure to subscribe, leave real questions, and if you need more, go below the video and get on my email list. Well, get on my email list anyway, because I'm gonna start doing some special live streams, and that's how you'll get to know about them. So with that, subscribe, leave a smart comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So long ago, but three or 400, I believe, because the windshield was like perfect condition. Uh, the trunk, yes, the trunk, just the trunk. Guy came, took the trunk off. The doors, the trunk, because it was a two-door coupe. Then we sold the frame, because someone wanted the frame. And all in all, it was well over four grand selling that car out by parts. So now, how do you do this? And this is going to be in Flipping Magic because we're going to talk about this and I'm going to use something that I know that currently works in that course, but find the car that people want and look for it. And you can make incredible money. I have, I have a car that I had to get some parts for. And when you have an older car that you like, people such as me will pay premiums for that stuff. So that, that is a really good hustle. It's a man hustle, right? You know, you got to have some muscles. You got to be able to turn a wrench, not to be afraid of a little rust or some spiders or snakes.